Right, thank you for coming. My name is Azra. I'm going to today demonstrate how to teach without teaching. So picking any topic without teaching it in the kind of usual traditional way of trainers standing in front, delivering the content and the learners as yourselves just taking the kind of the content in passively. So for that I have picked up a topic, how to give CPR. Can somebody in the room confirm for the others what CPR stands for? Yeah, thank you. Heart massage, basically. So I thought while teaching you how to do the training, I may as well teach you something that's useful to know in life in case you ever need to help someone save life. So before we go into that, I'd like to ask you to talk to the partner sitting next to you for about two minutes what you already know about CPR, your experiences, etc. I'll give you two minutes for that. I'll time you. <laughs> Thank you very much. All of a sudden the room got so loud <laughs> from very still from to very from the excitement, exactly. Thank you for that. Does anybody want to share what the partner said? Uh, uh, apparently, we, uh, what did you say that we were lost? Press. Did? Press on the chest. They said on some Macarena song. song. We don't know if it's Macarena or <laughs> another song, but <laughs> there's a certain rhythm. There's a certain Sing rhythm. Thing. Oh, Thank you. Oh, brilliant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jordi. Yeah. Oh, he's got. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to learn how to do CPR, build upon what Jordi already said. <coughs> for that, I'm going to show you a video. And I would like to ask you to please, while you're watching the video, to take notes. Everybody has paper and pen. Take notes because you're learning from this video. OK? So what do you need to do while wa watching a video? Can somebody confirm? Watch it. Watch it. And take listen. listen and take notes. take notes. Wonderful. Thank you. Hello. In this health sketch, we want to talk to you about CPR, which stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We use CPR when someone has collapsed and is not breathing because it can keep people alive until emergency services arrive. Learning these simple life-saving skills is as easy as ABC. All you have to remember is the doctor's ABC. D is for danger. First, look around carefully to make sure the area is safe for yourself and others before approaching. R is for response. Shake them gently by the shoulders and ask them loudly, are you all right? If there is no response, you need to. S, shout for help, as any assistance will be helpful. A is for airway. Gently tilt the head back like this to open up the airway. B is for breathing. Look, listen and feel for signs of normal breathing. Look for normal chest movements. Listen for normal breathing sounds and try to feel their breath against your face. Do this for no more than 10 seconds. If there is no sign of breathing or if they are breathing in an unusual noisy way, we need to start CPR. First, make sure that an ambulance is on its way. If you have someone with you, ask them to make the call. Putting the phone on speaker mode is useful as the ambulance service can talk you through the steps. C is for circulation. Circulation means the flow of blood around the body and when the heart stops pumping, we need to take over this role by pushing down hard and fast on the chest. Start by placing the heel of one hand at the center of the person's chest and interlock your fingers like this. With arms straightened, press down hard and fast, letting the chest come back up fully each time. Fast means around two times every second. And hard means that the chest needs to go down by about five centimeters. This might sound a lot, but you do need to push hard for it to be effective. 
If you have been trained, you can give two rescue breaths after every 30 compressions, as this helps provide some oxygen. However, if you have not been trained or are not comfortable, just keep going with hands-only continuous chest compressions. If someone else is with you, swap over if you begin to feel tired and don't stop until either a health professional takes over or the person is definitely breathing normally. Sometimes we can add another step, D. D is for defibrillation, which is about delivering a shock to restart the heartbeat. Some public areas and workplaces have an easy to use defibrillator on site called an automatic external defibrillator or AED. Automatic means that it is the machine that decides what to do, so you can't go wrong, and it even talks you through the steps. If there is no AED available, keep going with CPR until the ambulance arrives. That's it. So to recap, remember doctor's ABC, and if you have it, D, that's D for danger, R for response, S, shout for help, A for airway, B for breathing. C for circulation, and D for defibrillation. In this health sketch, we've shown you the simple steps you can take to help someone who has collapsed, is not breathing, or not breathing normally. I would like to ask my volunteers to step here, please, in the front. I'm going to form two groups. Oh, thank you, wonderful people. There'll be chocolates for you. Proof chocolates. Wow. Thank you. Oh, could I have another person? Please, JP. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So my volunteers are going to go into two groups and there are two desks here. Could I ask? Yeah, you three can be group B, you three can be group A. Here are some interactive exercises. So group A, you have true and false and you have some statements that are to do with the video you've just watched. So could I ask you to please put yes. the statements, yes. whether they are true or false. Yes. And group B, you have fill in the blanks, take a paper each, pen, the answers are at the bottom. And just fill out the information that's missing from the video that you've just watched. Yes. You'll have two minutes to do that. So please, if somebody wants to have a look, you can also stand up and have a look what they're doing but I need to time them. And you do this collaboratively. Yeah, you can. Oh. <laughs> Great, Jordi. Extra chocolate for you. <laughs> okay, let's see how far. But we're going to have to do CPR in two minutes. Do you want to? Do you want to test? Do you want to practice that? <laughs> okay. Would you like to join this group and maybe help them out? One minute left. So to just update you, they are filling in the gaps together. We give microphones to the groups so that we can. When they when they need oh just now you mean yeah. yes yes of course. Looking for sorry. I was here with the D, you know. Very good, thank you. Dangerous, safe for yourself. Shout for help. Response out loudly. Hi, are you capable? Oh, five is the. What are you? Shout for help. A is It's response, okay. and are you all right? A is for right. So, shout for help. So, 10 seconds left. For help, or what did you have? Six? Shout for help, yeah. yeah. Seven, A is for. B is for breathing. A is for breathing, yeah. A is for air. Thank you. The time is up. Let's let's yes. stop. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not it's not important. <laughs> it is.
so <laughs> demotivated now. Yeah. I'm such a good yeah. pupil, and then yeah. still I can't do it finishing it. Well, we'll, we'll work as a team. The, the whole team, A, B, has finished their task. All right, so they have done a little review of the, what they've learned by watching the video. And now we come to the next part of the training, the presentation, the teach back of the knowledge that they have just learned. So first they watched the video, that was where they learned it. They did a little interactive exercises where they reviewed the knowledge and now they're going to teach it back to the rest of us. So could I please ask group A and group B in two minutes to prepare your presentation? That means three people in a group, everybody has to present. So it can't be one person presenting in group. You divide the topic, let's say group A does DRSA and group B does BUD. Yeah, and you tell us what you've learned. You can use behind you on the wall, there's information on the notes that you've made during the video, on the notes here on the desks. So you'll have two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and how many people have to present in a group? Three. All three. Thank you. Two minutes for pre preparation and then one minute for presentation. Good. Your two minutes starts now. Okay. I would have to conclude with something. Mm -hmm. I want to present the preparation of the table. Preparation. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Circulation, you have to spin around on the spot. Oh, and yes. then plant your defibrillation gap, you jump up and down. Very good, very cool. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. But we should tell them, we have to tell them that it will. We're doing BCD. Yeah. Yeah. BCD. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. And then one of us just does. One, e one each. Yeah. Right. Yes. So I'll do the brief. Yeah. I'm happy to do defibrillation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You want the answer? I'm not trying Oh, brilliant. How is yes. Group B, are you done? Yes. yes. Okay, great. I can stop the timer. Right. It's gone. The slides are gone. We're, we're ready for this trip. Okay, we'll just continue. So <laughs> I need my people for, for the presentation. Right. So are both groups ready? We have a slight we're, issue. We have first feedback. Yes. <laughs> a is not listening. Okay. How are we going to do it? Behave, Group A. Group A is going to present first. They're going to have one minute to do that. And Group B, please listen carefully because you're going to give them feedback afterwards and watch what, the, the, what they're saying is correct. Okay? Group A, could you please, while you're doing your, feed, your presentation of one minute, could you stand on one leg and do it? Are you ready? Yes. Your time starts now. Okay, so with ABC, A is for the airway, which means we need to check the breathing of the person and uh, we need to put their head in a position to, so that we put that airwaves free. And uh, for breathing, we check are they breathing, we look at the chest and we uh, feel if they're breathing. Brilliant. One leg. You didn't tell me it was going to be this hard. Um, <laughs> C, circulation. Uh, you uh, put your two hands, uh, you put the heel of one hand down on the chest, center of the chest, and you uh, put the, the fingers interlocked and you pump twice per second, and you carry this on, and it, it should be uh, five centimeters down, um, and uh, if you get tired, ask someone else to, to jump in. Brilliant, thank you. And ultimately, there's the D, that uh, there's a wonderful machine called um, automatic electronic defibrillator that pretty much does everything for you. So you can find it in shopping centers, but then you put it there and it will even guide you through instructions. Thank you very much. Well wow. done, Group A. That was wonderful. Thank you. Group B, you have one minute of feedback, please. But 
feedback is going to be given in a form, I liked it because. So not just I liked it, it's great. I liked it because, or if you didn't like it, have you thought about perhaps doing it differently? Or how about changing this and that? So one minute starts now. So we've got B's for breathing. We'd like you all to stand Sorry, up. Sorry, can I interrupt you? Oh, oh we need to do it's feedback. feedback. Feedback to the group A, please. <laughs> I liked it because you were standing on one leg. <laughs> Have you thought about following the instructions and doing DRSNA as you were asked? <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Any more feedback? I tried to figure out, I, I have, thought, have you thought about finding something, a representation, which helps us to remember the um, letters which you are doing um, with your body, so we have a connection to what you do with your body, because it took me some while to understand what you're doing with your legs. I was searching for an A or something. You know. So I liked it, because I know that you will remember always that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, did you have some feedback, Lucky? Um, it's been covered. It's been covered. Okay, thank you. All right, we swap now. Could please group B? Shall we? Yes. Do their presentation. You we have two one. minutes. For the presentation? Two minutes. Okay, you can turn to the group, to the room. For the response, they have just to answer something. Okay, are you ready? Uh, yeah, as good as we're going to be, I think. Are we going to go at home or are we going to go at the house? Let me, start with, let me start and go with what we're doing. Okay, Could I get everybody onto their feet, please? Oh. Excellent. Okay. So, um, what I'd like you to do is, with your bodies, make the shape of a letter D and shout danger. Go on. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So now, letter R is response. What's R? Response. Fabulous. <laughs> S, how are you going to shout for help? Please shout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, the airway was yours. Oh, and A is for airway. Um, and then if you can take a deep breath. Airway. <laughs> and there you're breathing, which is for B. <laughs> yes. Okay, please now, um, I like Zumba, so turn around, circulate. <laughs> And finally, defibrillate. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Group A, do you have feedback for Group B? I liked it very much because in a very short time you covered all letters and now we have a visual for them. <laughs> <laughs> and you had audience participation and they would, yeah. they would learn because they were adopting the different poses and repeating. So, so yes. And I, I also like it because on top of visual that was also kinesthetic and people were moving and, and feeling about that. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done. Thank you very much for your help. Could I just ask you with one word, please, before you leave, with one word to tell me what you particularly liked about this training, about CPR, and how you would like to use it in your life, perhaps. One word, whoever wants to start, start. Active. Great, thank you. Interactive. Mm. Great. Quick? Yeah, quick. <laughs> yes. Fun. Thank you. Brain friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you come up with that? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, everybody, every thank you very much. Thanks, you can go back to your seats. Thank you for helping me. Please take so, take some chocolate. <laughs> Henrietta, can you please go help? I go around? Yes, and please. I, every time I give someone, I take some? Or yeah, you can do that. <laughs> so... Shall I give it to everyone or the ones who are taking part? <laughs> go around and give everyone Well, you can, you can give everyone, of course. Okay. Distract you from the next So, I have some more time. So basically, I'll just recap what happened. Yes, please. Okay. Can I? Of course, yes. Please distribute the chocolates, German chocolates. Um, so this was a kind of unconventional way of teaching where I didn't, as a trainer, deliver any content. So uh, I was using the training from the back of the room methodology. There's a book here in the front, whoever wants to have a look at it, where it says 
the six kind of trumps are important. The images, the talking, the movement, writing, shorter, different, etc. All of these, if you include as many as possible in your trainings, it's going to be brain friendly, accelerated learning and fun. So at the beginning, I asked you to talk in pairs two minutes about what you already know about CPR. That's called priming of the brain. Basically, it means that before you start teaching group some topic that it's new for them, you ask them to talk about it to kind of see if they already have some knowledge about the topic. If they do, you're priming the brain, you're preparing it. So you, they just build on the knowledge they already have. It's much easier than starting from scratch. So next thing, I showed you a video. So I didn't deliver the topic. I used a medium that would do that instead of me. Then my plan was to let my volunteers, my learners to go around the room and read the kind of a gallery walk to read the posters, which I paid, but I didn't have time for that. So, but that's one of the techniques you could use. Next thing was the learning centers, which I created with two desks here. So these learning centers were kind of a way to deliver the content or to do a review of what you already taught them. So they used, I used true and false, like two columns and statements that had to be kind of put under true or under false or fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps was kind of taking care of that writing tram trump that is kind of important for the brain to learn and for that knowledge to stick. Uh, next step was the teaching back, the presentations because this methodology says if you can teach something back to somebody, that means you really know and you really learned your subject, your topic. And the two groups prepared, then they delivered, they gave feedback to each other, then we swapped, another group was presenting, another one was giving feedback. An important thing is to give constructive feedback, so not just it was great, thanks, or I didn't like it, but instead you're trying to give people a chance to really learn from your comments, from your feedback. So how about just like it happened with the groups A and B, which was a fantastic example. And at the end, I asked them to evaluate the training and also to give me some commitment to how they're going to use the knowledge that they just obtained, which is important. Lots of people go to trainings and, you know, they go out and they never use this knowledge ever again. But this is like a little, you know, nudge like to ask them, so how are you going to plan to use this? perhaps in your life and work. So the six trumps, I tried to use all of them. So they were writing, they were listening, they were watching the video, they were walking around, standing on one leg, just to kind of make things happen, just to make it more fun and more uh, interactive. So in summary, you can make any topic more interesting and more engaging if you use lots of kind of senses for learning and not just the, the traditional one, as I said, front and um, the learner sitting at their desks. And we, with this methodology, we also ensure that the content delivery will stick in the long term memory. So that means when they have used all these and they've moved while learning and they collaborated with each other, they will remember this. And I hope the rest of you will also remember how to do a CPR. It might come in handy. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much.